how lovely it is to be out on the water. It's been such a busy year. I think I've only actually sailed three or four times since last June. And a number of reasons for that. Firstly, I had three, four, four lots of COVID. Um, two of which sort of took me off for a week or so, just, you know, like bad cold. And then the first one and the fourth one, which absolutely flattened me for two or three weeks um, afterwards. And I, I just kept testing positive for nearly two and a half, three weeks each time, quite poorly with those. Then, of course, we've done a lot of traveling. So Iceland and then six weeks in France and six weeks in Spain and seven weeks touring the Southwest USA. Um, in fact, almost five and a half months of traveling and time has just raced away. But here we are, out on the water, and it's lovely. It's been the first day where we've had reasonable weather. Um, in other words, not blowing 30 or 40 knot winds. Lots of people out on the water today the last week of school and the Mountbatten Water Sports Centre is pretty busy. Um, there's a group there just going out. I expect they're going to do some um, canyoning and uh, rock hopping. I forgot what they call it, but jumping in and out of the water uh, by the looks of it. Uh, lots of people taking the opportunity to get out and about. Um, mixed weather today, um, winds are around about um, 8 knots with gusts to about 17. And then it's a mixture of sunshine and showers. I'm not liking the look of those clouds up ahead. I was hoping it was going to blow in shore. Might get the odd shower in an hour or so. I'm such a wuss. It's only a drop of rain for heaven's sakes. Fair weather sailor, eh? It is so nice being out on the water again. I have so looked forward to this for ages. Refreshing the soul. That's Corsan Bay. Lots of people have gone over there to anchor for the day. Bathed in sunshine. It's in the Lee of Penley Point area. Seven Alpha 4783. Bit of a busy day for the Coast Guard. They're not doing the Radio 16 radio checks. They've already had two or three pan pans. Um, people with engine f failure, people with steering gear failure. Um, so busy day for them. I've uh, done some minor alterations to what Arwen um, pottering about while she's been stored on the drive, um, just to keep me sane really when I wasn't feeling well. Uh, one of the things I've done is added some clips uh, to make it easier when I'm rigging the tent so I can get rid of the lazy jack. And you, you, you can see those just there now. So there's one either side, which means that I can put the lazy jacks away against the mast, unclip it, um, and it just makes the whole rigging the tarp uh, so much easier over the boom. So that's what uh, one of the adjustments I've done. Uh, there's a loose cord up there, which I missed, uh, which is a tad careless. A bit of sail lacing um, has come undone, so I've got to tighten that up in, in a bit. A um, little job later on when I'm moored. A 
some uh, canoeists ahead. They've got that paddle, foot paddle system on board. Um, it's quite clever. I was looking at that the other day. Clever, clever little system. Looks as if they're heading to the beach at Drake's Island. Might go in there and have an anchor in a bit. Cup of tea and a Marmite sandwich and all that. They're doing tours of Drake's Island uh, during the summer. I must um, try and get on one. It's got a fascinating history to it. Um, it's been a, an adventure center. It's been um, a military gun emplacement. Um, very checkered history. Supposed to be developing a luxury hotel on there, but they've been promising that for the last 20 odd years on and off. And I haven't seen anything so far. Going to lose the wind in a minute because it's coming from the south. So it'll disappear in a sec or two. There we go. Lost the wind. I'm just heading out into the middle of the channel a bit uh, to clear the wind shadow caused by Drake's Island, which is just behind us there or to the side of us. Um, I'm going to lose lose some ground here because the tide's going out, and we're sort of about. About an hour and a half, uh, nearly two hours into it. So I think we're going to have a problem here. Um, I've got to watch that boat just under there as well. So I was hoping to get through that gap, but I don't think we're going to do it. Got a little bit away, just crawling forward over the outgoing tide. It's going to be a bit close, I think. I've got another pontoon ahead of me, so I've just got to be a bit careful. Wind's died just when you don't want it to. Pan, 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 pan. All stations, all stations, all stations. This is Falmouth Coast Guard, Falmouth Coast Guard, Falmouth Coast Guard. I spell the first word Motti, Lima, Oscar, Tango, Tango, Yankee. Four niner degrees, four seven decimal minutes north. Vessel has suffered engine and is current with four persons on board. Vessel requires a tow to the nearest safe haven. Busy day for the Coast Guard. That's about, I think, the fourth or the fifth pan-pan I've heard this morning. Busy day.